is coming good and clear am I heard all right let's invite our friends and have some good time together today uh, today we will talk about many topics and for sure all topics is open uh, if uh, we have any Mohammedan that would like to join us anytime uh, you know me myself I enjoy uh, speaking to Muslims because they are super smart people and uh, me myself I never saw smart people like Muhammadan this is why Allah will reward them and give them extra very nice versions uh, and we Christians we get no versions because we are not smart you know uh, you know I mean between us I hope Muslims are not recording me now between us we know that the Muslims because they are super smart they will get the versions and they believe in it uh, it's proven by the way scientifically there is a there's a Japanese scientist I'm sure all of you you know him ah I forgot you people are not smart how in the, how in the world do you want to know about such a Japanese <laughs> scientist yeah you are just uh, okay well let me uh, tell you about uh, this uh, Japanese uh, you know uh, scientist uh, he discovered that uh, uh, camel urine is the source of intelligence even for AI as an example they had an experiment uh, with AI without camel urine and AI with camel urine and you know what happened uh, AI with camel urine beat the hell of AI without camel urine and uh, like uh, you know uh, like they ask AI with the camel urine uh, who is Camilla Harris he, uh, AI said she is a camel you know uh, they ask AI without uh, camel urine uh, he gave wrong answer you know he said she is uh, a Joe Biden assistant but all of us we knew that this is not true uh, but anyway <coughs> Uh, <coughs> uh, so today we are going to have some good time together <coughs> do we have any Muslim <coughs> there, there's one on stage with UCP God bless God bless you brother yeah it's clear uh, the gentleman who is waiting there he is a Muslim yes oh, yeah oh, um, oh. if I could add a bit of context um, oh, I right. was having a conversation with the Lebanese and he said that I should talk to you Oh, okay. Uh, so, what do you like to say to us? Go ahead. <coughs> Go ahead, my friend. You call yourself K. I don't know what to call you. Go ahead. Sorry, I'm wrong with my audio. So, can you repeat? I'm sorry. Uh, I said, "Go ahead." What do, you, what do you want to tell us? As long as you are a Muslim, what do you think about uh, yourself as a Muslim? Like, is Islam is something smart? Is okay, Islam, so. Um, yeah. Go ahead. I'll give you the context. Okay, so I'm someone, uh, I'm, first of all, I'm Muslim. Um, the reason why I, w I had, like, I joined the server was um, because I'm really interested in Christianity. I think there are a lot of aspects of it that I found beautiful, intriguing, and I wanted, uh, how do I say this? I wanted to learn more about it, and specifically, um, I've had a lot of conversations on why, especially with like in the server, in the voice chat, is like why I believed in Islam. And if I could summarize why I believe in Islam, well, the reason why is because I've had miraculous experience with it. Um, and since I'm in like in philosophy terms, I'm basically an uh, empirical um, empirical realist. Which means I can only go off. Uh, I think knowledge only comes from experience in itself. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily believe in Islam because, like, because I look at the book, I'm like, oh, this is like a, it's like a, the Christians are so wrong. Look, like everything. I th I believe in the book is because I have, like, um, how do I say this? I have a, I've had experience with it. Uh, like, I only believe in the book. I don't believe in hadith. I'm I'm a Quranist, and a lot of Muslims will see me as like a kafir. It makes me sad, but I it's I I'd like I'd like I'd like to say truthful. I don't 
I don't like um, having to lie to myself that I believe in the Hadith. And I wanted to speak to you uh, and have an honest, uh, fruitful conversation with you, uh, specifically about everything I've mentioned so far. So, yes, hello. Yeah, you know, you mentioned that you have a miraculous experience. Can you tell us about it? Okay, so it's a it's a bit personal, but okay, of course. Um, so uh, back, like, how does it? I grew up Muslim. I'm um, I'm a, of a I'm not Arabic. I'm of a Georgian ethnicity. There's a little tiny minority that is Muslim. Uh, I've lived most of my life in um, Canada, and basically, um, I've like uh, at 14 years old. You could say like 13, 14. Mm -hmm. uh, I was really like I really wanted to learn a lot about philosophy, and so th of course, like I've had a lot of uh, YouTube recommended videos of uh, like apostate prophet David Wood, like basically critiques against Islam. Mm -hmm. And I, since I was like a bit naive at the time, I I was like, yeah, I'm not a Muslim anymore. I just left, and uh, like I became a a hard critic, I, I hated Islam, but then I've had a conversation with a Muslim, and then he basically showed me how, like, it's how uh, what I've been told was mostly out of context, either cherry picked or uh, like uh, just unfalls. And then when I saw like there was like truth in what he said, I I wanted to because I my I do my best diligence of staying leading an honest life. If somebody shows me like. If if I am shown uh, like a, a contrary evidence, like um, to, like a uh, like, like how do I say this, like tangible, um, uh, real like evidence of which I can have experience of, then naturally I ha have no qualms uh, being honest with it. Right. How? Um, but and I, that's uh, basically what my friend, I, I like I don't know. You did not. Uh, sorry, you did not uh, answer my question. You said. Uh, Miraculous. What is the miracle? I'm not sure what. What is the miracle? So you yeah. left. You left Islam. Somebody. He's a Muslim. He told you those people they are lying, taking things out of context, and then you become Muslim again. <clears throat> but what is the miracle? Go ahead. Yeah, I was. Uh, I was just trying to give like a bit of context, so it just wouldn't oh, look right. like uh, strange. I'm sorry. Um, so basically, uh, the miracle is basically during when I was 16, and I was like, you could say. I was sure of God's existence. Mm -hmm. um, I no longer became an atheist. Uh, I, I had I went through some difficult times. Uh, I wanted to, like, uh, let's say, commit suicide. And my mother is also a Muslim. And, uh, like, I've had a lot of, like, dreams. Like, so many dreams that mm -hmm. I can't just call it a coincidence. And my mom was also affected. Like, my mom just came and told, like, told me about everything. And it was impossible for her to know. And, mm. uh, like, she still did, and which, like, uh, how do I say this? Because she had also a dream. And so, like, um, because of this, like, it's in my experience, I can't doubt. That's that's what I'm, that's the miraculous I, I don't experience. know, I mean, how this is, can be called miraculous. I will tell you a dream I saw yesterday. I was eating lobster, you know, in my dream. And I, it tastes so good. But when I woke up, I found myself in my bed. And there is no any dishes around me. But can I say this is miracles? So miracle, when we say miracle, is something outstanding, out of na nature power. Uh, like somebody have cancer, he was healed. Uh, someone is dead, somebody resurrected him. Uh, you know, uh, uh, as the Quran described, like a fire come from the sky and he can cons consume uh, the. Uh, uh, the sacrifice of uh, Abraham, uh, that is a miracle because this is something that doesn't happen to everybody. But a dream, all of us, we have dreams, you know. Uh, so this is not a miracle. Same time, can you, if you don't mind, uh, tell me, like you said that you left Islam because they told you something and then you met a Muslim and he told, he told you they are telling you things out of context. Can you tell me the things which they told you out of context and the Muslim corrected them? Uh, for example, uh, well, the things uh, that are out of context was mostly uh, like athe from atheist perspective, not necessarily Christian uh, apologetics, but exactly the thing. 
uh, it, it happened uh, like uh, when I was like uh, it happened years ago but I, I remember one I can give you an example okay. it was the one where with the miracle of um, I forgot exactly I think it was with Moses where they tried to revive a man um, with like uh, it wasn't Quran with like a, a slab of like cow meat yeah, beef, and beef yeah. By, by beating the guy by beef correct Yes, yes, and they like uh, he uh, basically came back to life and admitted who was the murderer. So this is a miracle. Uh, I, I no, I, this one isn't. I, I, this one isn't. <coughs> I didn't consider. I don't consider this a miracle. Like, so do you think? Do you think it's false story in the Quran or it is true story? <coughs> I think it's a true story. So if you beat somebody with beef, he will come back to life. No, because this <coughs> specific instance, mm -hmm. the reason why it happened is so is because uh, it's a miracle in itself. Like uh, no, you know, is if you read the story, <coughs> they came to Moses. Uh, they told him this guy he was killed, and we want to know how he died. Hmm? Uh, so Allah told Moses, beat the guy with beef. Uh, if the miracle is happened by Allah power. Then there is no need for the beef. Can you tell me what is the, the what is the reason for the beef? Like as an example, Jesus he resurrected people from death, but he did not use, use beef or ground beef or tail of a cow or anything. Uh, so why in the case of Allah we need to use beef? And I, I don't have a reason other than it's because God created us. So. No, no. You see what this is God created us. If God is the one who is making a miracle, do you think God need like, is it like a recipe? Like, you know, we have, uh, okay, not only that, the, 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 the beef have to have from certain kind of cow. <clears throat> it's not only a beef. Uh, uh, and this, this, uh, this uh, uh, cow, can you read, the, can you see my screen? Yes, I can. Okay, can you read verse number 71, if you don't mind? First, he, Musa, Moses said, he says it's a cow neither trained to till the soil nor water the fields, sound having no other color except bright yellow. They said, now you have brought the truth, so they slaughtered it, though they were near not doing it, near to not doing it. Hmm. So what does this have to do with the miracle? Like why it have to be certain color and you know what is what does that have to do with the miracle? It, so, it sounds like a you know a fiction story. If this is a miracle, God do not need a cow. He do not need a certain part of the cow. He do not need a, a specific kind of a, like. Doesn't matter like if they brought different cow, Allah cannot make it happen. He can. But he chose it as so for a reason that we can't know because it's no. Not obviously, divine. obviously no. Obviously, this is a false story, and uh, if Allah wanna do a miracle, He can do what Jesus did. He did not bring cow, you know. He says, raised from death, the guy is is up. So what cow for? I mean, if God isn't it the Quran says if Allah wanted something, He say be is going to be. What yeah, happened now? Suddenly, suddenly He cannot say be and it's be. Suddenly now he is using a, a cow, and then we have to beat the guy with the with the with the beef, which is a savage way, you know. I mean, imagine the dead guy is in the ground, and we are beating him with dead cow meat and all the blood over his body now from the cow, and now he is going to come to life. Why Musa don't say in the name of Allah, I command you by Allah to come to life? No, he did not. He beat him with the cow, and that's it. You know, and look what it says in verse number 73 it says, Thus, bring this, thus Allah bring the dead to life. So, according to the Quran, this is how Allah resurrects people from death, correct? Um, wait, um, I'm not sure. Uh, this is this one instance of the miracle, it's in the front of you, it's in the front of you. So, based on this, Allah, Allah can raise people from death only by beating them by beef. So in the day of judgment, me and you and all those people, they will be beaten heavily by beef in order to come back to life. And then the guy, he came back to life, according to the story. Moses, he asked him, 
uh, uh, who is the one who killed, killed you? He told him the name and he died right away immediately. And here you need to ask yourself, can't Allah just tell Moses who is the one who killed the guy instead of this drama? Beef and beating the guy. He did not even resurrect him. He just, you know, he, he came to life and he opened his mouth. He said, the Christian prince killed me. And he died. So what was the point? I will give you an example of other miracle in the Quran. Can I, can I like, uh, respond to that? Sure, sure, go ahead. <clears throat> uh, that's the thing. I, uh, my disagreement lies in part with uh, the assumption that necessarily God has to follow a certain way. Uh, what I mean by this is... No, no, you see, uh, 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 apology, please. It's Allah who said that, not me. Allah in the Quran says, if Allah want to do something he say be is going to be is it this is Quran so this is the contradiction if Allah like how Allah he said to uh, according to the Quran the Quran says Kamathari Isa Kamathari Adam sorry uh, the similarity between Adam and uh, Isa is uh, they are similar how Allah said to them be and he was so this is we're talking about creation and uh, if, and this is how Allah it says and this is how Allah he makes things happen so if we if we uh, if we search in the Quran kun fayakun you will find tons of verses i hope you can see my uh, my screen right you can of course all right and i'm using arabic and english so you can see all of this chapter 2 verse 117 it says if Allah he wanted to something when he decrees a matter he only say to it be and it is does it say there only yeah all right so what is the cow for he only say be okay be alive the guy will come to life Moses now satisfy the, the, the people who asking him for a miracle and now they are sure that his God can do a miracle but now by beating him by beef, maybe maybe it's the magic, maybe this is guy is a is a pagan, you know, what beef? Maybe he's a Hindu. You know? What beef? Yeah. But so here there is a, there is a method in the Quran according to the God of Islam. You have to follow the method and based on this method, Allah he say be is going to be. And this is what Jesus said, you know. Jesus he said to the man who cannot walk, walk. He did not beat him with beef. But can I, can I add something to that? Go ahead. <clears throat> it's, uh, how do I, say? I, I still don't see how it's still contradictory. Because even with this assertion, it could be that God, uh, when he, the whole beef stuff happened, he said B for the whole situation. I don't see how they're necessarily mutually what B, B to the host. Okay, so Allah, he said B to my situation and your situation now. Uh, I mean, that's... that's uh, an, an assumption we can say it to anyone I can say Buddha is the one who did that you know uh, same time this miracle there's no proof of it who is the witness for this miracle where Muhammad got those stories from yeah, uh, that's like it's uh, it's it's not how do I say it's to no, believe no. doesn't there, there, there is always a witness I will tell you why what I mean if Moses can do that can't Muhammad do that uh, not necessarily. Okay, so what Muhammad can do? From what he can only do from what God has allowed him to what do. What Allah allow him to do? In the Quran, there's the one where he split the moon. Uh, that's absolutely not true. In the Quran, it says Muhammad he split the moon. I, I think so. If you yeah. can show me in the Quran that uh, Muhammad he split the moon. I'm going to split the hair of my head, one left, one right, and I will look like I will be uh, like like a girl. Uh, where it says that? Here we go. Where? Show me. I want to see that. This is a chapter 54, verse number 1, 2, 3, 4. We can read as many want. Where it says that Muhammad, he split the moon. I, don't, I may be wrong. Uh, it may be in the hadiths. I'm not sure. No, no, no. It's in the Quran. The Quran, the chapter of the. I, I just put it for you. You see here, it says Muhammad, he split the moon. But this is false. Nowhere in the Quran it says that. Where in the Quran it says that this is Muhammad and he. Do you see the name Muhammad anywhere? Only in the translation, they added between two brackets. Same time, 
At the same time, if the moon split, Allah He says the moon split. Did He say the moon glued again? Could you repeat that? I'm sorry. Okay, if I split the watermelon and the, water? the watermelon, watermelon, that make it two pieces, correct? Yeah. Does the verse say Allah He put it together again? No. So why it is together again? Who is the one who is playing games with us? Allah He split the moon. There is someone, and I am suspecting maybe this is Donald Trump, he put the moon again together. Who is the one who put it together? If it's split, it should be split. He didn't say, I split it, I put it back. The moon is split. Even the, yeah, Mus but... even the Muslim, they say that when Muhammad, he split the moon, as you said, uh, uh, his God split the moon, uh, the, the, the two, uh, two pieces of the moon, they separate so far from each other to the point uh, the Mount of Hara appear. So now we, uh, that's mean, the, uh, like in the sky, they have like a, they have to have millions of kilometers between them, not thousands. Because you know, you remember, like if I'm looking from uh, a small telescope and then I will see a massive in the, in the horizon, in the, in the distance of the moon, and then I see two moons now, one is in the right and one in the left, and there's a mountain be between them. Can you imagine how big the distance? Maybe, I don't know, maybe a million uh, mile. So now they are totally two pieces. Who put them together? I think God. Where it says that? But it doesn't deny that. Uh, it doesn't deny this proposition. No, it, it deny. It deny. First of all, you see, my friend, when we say a miracle, I mean, this is a miracle you cannot hide. The whole world will see it. At least people in Persia, in India, in Pakistan, in Iraq, in Syria, in Egypt. So everybody will see, I mean, they are sharing the same moon in Africa. And we have one more, right? Yeah, actually, but, uh, actually, even even if in, uh, even those who they are living in the daytime zone, still they will see it. Not only that, do you know what would happen if the moon split two pieces? Have you ever heard of something called ocean and the impact of the moon on the ocean? something to do with the uh, like uh, waves waves disaster tsunami uh, 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 high tide i mean things will go crazy because the moon it is, is exists in a certain location and that make the routine where the high tide and low tide happen but if you split it first of all one piece is going to hit the earth and the other piece maybe will will be grabbed by the sun they will not stay in the same time. The, the, the mass of the moon is exist in the location because it is that mass, that, uh, that weight, that uh, size. So it stayed there in that orbit. If you change the mass, the location will change. And then the earth will grab it. So now the moon became two pieces. That means the moon became two moons, which means the, the size reduced to half. Correct? Yeah. And that means the earth will grab the both of them and that will destroy the whole earth. The, the half moon, two pieces, it's like having a, uh, having like a meteor, but it's a huge, it's at this time, it's, it's a planet, it's not, you know, it's just a rock. So the earth will grab it and the moon will not stay in its place. So all this miracle, which nobody saw, no historian, like where is the Roman, I mean, okay, the Greek who live far away, <clears throat> the historic the Roman they are not far actually at that time the Roman they are in Tabuk which is less than 800 miles from from uh, uh, from Jeddah uh, <clears throat> they can see they can see the moon and they were without knowing about Muhammad anyway they will say okay in our book in this day amazing scary stuff happened I mean the whole earth will be talking about it do you think splitting the moon event will be seen only in the town of Mecca no so where is no why nobody saw it because it couldn't be that god decreed it as such ah <clears throat> so maybe maybe it was a fake moon you know maybe allah made a moon only for mecca at that time uh for that night only 
and he split the moon and then people they saw that moon and that's it the story is over the rest of the world nobody noticed nobody see so this is here is a fiction there is no way in fact look what you know uh, uh, if i if i uh, if i go right now remember this is chapter what 54 right uh, 54 yeah. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> i will type what the arab they were asking muhammad to do They keep asking him, how come, like, we just we wish only, only one miracle from his God. If you go as an example, you will see that chapter 10 came long after the chapter of the moon. Which one, the chapter of the moon? 54, right? Yes. But this is not according to Revelation. The Muslims, as you know, they changed the location of the chapters. So chapter 10 came long after. Hmm. Have you ever uh, saw the, the, according to Revelation, uh, the order of the Quran? Uh, I don't think, is, is it by number of chapter? No, there is. The, the Muslims, <clears throat> they changed, uh, they changed uh, the order of the Quran. All the Muslims agree, you know, I mean, uh, okay, if I ask you right now, what is the first Quran Muhammad received? What is the first chapter? Uh, it was uh, the um, Fatiha. Okay, no, it mm -hmm. was read, the, the angel, he came to him and he squeezed him, I said to him, read, correct? Yeah. The Fatiha is not that one. The one you are talking about is a chapter 96. So chapter oh. number one became chapter number 96. <laughs> See? <clears throat> so now what, what we have in the front of us, we have those Arab keep saying to Muhammad, how come we wish only, only he can make him just one? So now after the Quran is revealed, it's still Muhammad, he has zero miracles. Long after... So why Muhammad didn't say to them, okay, you know what, I gave you a miracle, what's wrong with you? As an example, if you if see here, chapter 10, verse number 20, <clears throat> uh, it says, how, how is that not a sign is sent down on him from his Lord? Who is the one is asking? The tribe of Muhammad, all right? Yeah. All right. So, did the Muhammad say it as an answer? Did Allah say to them, you stupid idiot, I just spit the moon for you? He did not. Mm -hmm. What he said to them, can you read for me, please? My, my English is not good. Uh, verse 20? Uh, yeah. Okay. And they say, how is it that not a sign is sent down on him from his Lord? Mm -hmm. Say, the unseen belongs to Allah alone, so wait you. Verily, I am with you among those who wait for Allah's judgment. What is the, so Allah? He don't cannot, He said, "Wait, I'm waiting with you." What wait? Wait. So wait with you. What? So where is the miracle? Why? Why Muhammad did not say? And remember, this is a chapter came long after the chapter uh, of Al Qamar. All right. A chapter, a chapter, you know, a, a chapter 10. Uh, let me pause for you this link. You can open it in the chat. And you will see the, uh, uh, the Quran according to Revelation. The Quran according to Revelation. What does that mean? How the Quran was sent exactly by Allah. The order. So now if we go, you see, you remember I told you the, the first one, the order is, one is yeah. Al-Alaq, you see, it says here, Al-Alaq, you see, 96, you see it? Yes, I see. Okay, so the first one is Al-Alaq, the Muslim, this is another lie, the Muslim, they say to us, that the Quran never changed, because it's obvious, even this is what they say, I mean, this is their, this is a Muslim website, this is what they say, the first one was Al-Alaq, the second one was Al-Qalam, and look, the second one is number 68. The third one now is number 73. <laughs> the fourth one is now 74. The fifth one is number one. 
and that story goes on and now if we go and we try to check uh, uh, which one is a chapter 10 remember chapter 10 here is a chapter Eunice right yeah okay let us see where this Eunice is and uh, uh, remember Al Qamar was 54 correct yes all right so now we go to Eunice you see this is 10 it's not Eunice is Al Fajr okay we continue looking let us go down let us see where is Eunice do you see Eunice where is Eunice I'm looking I'm looking I'm looking until now there's no Eunice uh-huh 51 do you see it yeah all right so now we look for the moon chapter is that fair the moon chapter where the moon is split yeah okay uh, so, so the moon here remember take a note please Eunice yeah. is number one number 51 sorry uh-huh yes now we need to look for uh, uh, the moon let us go back maybe it was before let us see Al Qamar where is Al Qamar Al Qamar where is Al Qamar let us see Al Furqan it's ah it is 37 so who came for first and who came second Al Qamar came first correct so why you say to them wait and why they are saying we wished only just a miracle just a miracle like for the sake of the shin of Allah just a miracle shouldn't the Quran say is in the same request he says are you stupid or what I just did the, the, the moon for you but it does say that it was just an eclipse those are not stupid people the Arab they are they, they uh, all of them they knew what the eclipse is so as you see the Quran contradict the Quran and remember the Quran says <coughs> it, if this is a book made by other than Allah you will find in it a lot of contradiction in fact if you go to the chapter of the moon itself you will find in the moon itself a questioning that Allah never sent a miracle if you read the whole chapter this is the problem that nobody read you know uh, we take uh, uh, Abdul a Muslim he says to me oh the Quran have a miracle the Prophet he split the moon and then that's it okay he split the moon who no witnesses no even the Quran cannot witness for for such a thing so if you go to chapter 10 you will see that uh, 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 what is the moon hold on I'll go to the moon sorry uh, 54 <coughs> uh -huh. okay this is the moon split no, uh, this is the moon split if you if we keep uh, keep reading you know uh, let us go down I don't know if you can read fast as I am I can read so fast you know without even opening the book sometime if we keep reading let us go down let us go down maybe we will find something maybe we can find something let us see what we will find I'm going a little slow so you can see with me see all right and then uh, here you will notice my, uh, Allah speaking about uh, a very funny stupid uh, story that there is Allah he said he, he uh, the people of a guy his name is Salih we do not know who is this guy they ask him to make a rock a camel and then Allah he made the rock a camel and they ask him even that the camel will give birth like this rock will become a camel and it's a bread net and will deliver, deliver a baby and then those people they killed the camel which was giving them a lot of milk so Allah he screamed and he killed them why he didn't do the same to Muhammad let us continue same now he is mentioning loot he cannot do anything so he mentioned uh, things is happening in the past uh, if you if you see here the story it says <coughs> and indeed uh, sought uh, to shame his guest we asked comment as a sadumi we, so we blinded their eyes okay okay as if Allah can blind the eyes of somebody why he cannot blind the eyes of those people who they keep asking for 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 uh, as a miracle just do it let us continue here you see that Muhammad counting miracle done by somebody else why because he cannot do anything 
And now he jumped to Pharaoh. Okay, what Lut have to do with Pharaoh? And then from Pharaoh to Saleh. I mean, are we are we are we like in a, in a jumping uh, the Congo party? We continue. Let us see if there is some anything useful. Nothing there. It's just a threatening them. If you don't believe in me, all right. So the 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 Quran itself is nothing but uh, uh, like somebody. I don't know what the the English word for for it. Somebody making a threat. <clears throat> For somebody who don't believe, trying to scare him. Like, do you see what he did to Lut? Do you see what he did to Saleh? Okay, what about you do to them? How come Allah cannot do any of what he did to those people? As an example, you said you don't believe in the hadith, right? Yeah. Why you don't believe in the hadith? Because, uh, uh, like, there's a lot of stuff that I disagree with and I you know how do I say this I do not uh, see necessarily the veracity or uh, the hadiths as being preserved as the Quran no I will tell you the reason you don't believe in the hadith the real reason the, the hadith is additional proof that Muhammad is a false man this is why you said to yourself I'm going to go in denial and reject the hadith which is the base of Islam it's not the Quran the Quran is an empty book there's nothing in the Quran 90% of the Islamic law is in the Hadith, not in the Quran. If I say to you, if you don't believe in me, I'm going to make you blind. Do you think if I'm God, I can do it or not? Uh, if, um, if you're God, um, you can do it, of course. And if I make a threat, telling you, I will make you blind the same as I punish somebody. Is that a threat? to do or a threat to scare you only I did it already to somebody else but I did different kind of punishment so is that a threat will never happen or God when he promised he say I will do that to you if you don't believe that is a true threat it's a true threat huh okay look what Allah he said in the Quran and as long as you don't believe in the hadith I'm just trying to help you your God he threatened the Christians and, yes. the, and the Jews if you don't yes. believe in Muhammad I'm going to erase your eyes your nose your mouth and make your backward your, your face uh, the, in the back of your head do you see the verse in the screen yeah all right you told me if Allah he made a promise he would do it if you don't believe we will do this to you the same as we did to the people of the Sabbath. So this is not something in the Day of Judgment. The people of the Sabbath, according to the fiction story of Muhammad, they were fishing uh, Allah, he forbid them from doing any work in Saturday. And then Allah, he made the fish come to them, because like Allah, is sounds like a teenage, he's not mature. And the fish, they jump in the top of the water and they say, ah, 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 we are here, we can't fish us. So those Jews, they get hungry, they have a children, they have family. They could not wait no more, so they fish on Saturday and now Allah made them monkeys. True story. So as you see, your God, he make the Jews monkeys for fishing on Saturday. So what about those who don't want to believe in Allah and they don't want to believe in Muhammad? Shouldn't he do it, what he promised? To make my face backward and erase my mouth and my nose? Yeah, but time still hasn't uh, finished. What time? Like, Muhammad is dead. The, he's talking to the people in, in front of him. You see the people of the Sabbath. They broke the Sabbath second day. Allah, he made the monkeys. Not 10 million years after. Second day in the morning, everybody woke up. <laughs> and they are looking for banana. My cousin Jack Shalom, I visited him in the zoo. You know? So don't you see this is this is a stupid story? Okay, so what is the logic that if somebody broke the Sabbath, we make him a monkey? But if somebody rape a woman, we do nothing to him. Uh, wait, rape a woman? Yeah, what is the punishment of rape in the Quran? You told me you are a Quran only. Can you show me the punishment of rape in the Quran? I don't. I don't think it says. Why Allah he forgot about the word rape from his dictionary? 
in the in the time of Muhammad, people don't rape; they use their nose only. No. So. I think I mean it's uh, how do I say this? I mean, rape is uh, a bad act in the Quran. Where, where okay, me, my friend, if you, my my friend, if you can show me the word rape in the Quran, I will beat myself and I will make you hear me beating myself. Go ahead. No, but what I mean by this isn't specifically mentioned. It falls under the category of uh, transgressions. But no, there is no way. I mean, there is uh, everything have a punishment. You cannot make things equal. So the guy who did fishing on Saturday, we make him a monkey. And then the word rape, we never mention it. And we say it's under trans... Where? Nowhere is mentioned. No, nowhere is mentioned. Mu says he mentioned the law for it. There is a law for it. The word rape. Why here there is no there is no law? Have you ever heard of a state of a government? They have law for everything except rape. And then we say this is a punishment for everything. Everything, one punishment. Anything. You remind no. me of a cousin of mine. He's a doctor. He give he give one medicine to anyone. The same medicine. He's an Arab. You know, very smart. Open your mouth. Uh huh. He have one medicine on the shelf, he give it to everybody, and then nobody go to his clinic. One medicine, one punishment. Everybody, does not matter what the crime? No, but it's, the, the amount of transgression is to be judged by God on the day of judgment. No, no, you see, how come, okay, so why you want to, uh, why he make the, uh, the Jewish monkeys now? If this is on the day of judgment, he made the monkeys. <laughs> yeah, but like how do I say this uh, transgressions like uh, the reason why God made them monkeys in the first place uh -huh. in that specific time was because God ordained it so it's not the it's not a rule no 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 you see what ordained Allah, Allah he ordained to the Jews now to still to have Sabbath how come he don't make anybody monkey have you uh, do you think really that every single Jew in the time of Moses and after nobody broke the Sabbath. No, but it's specific to those Jews that. The Why is specific? Is it Allah about justice? So only like what he hates the group, you know they, they did not do anything wrong. In fact, if you read the story, you will see how silly it is. I just I don't know if you notice. I told you Allah He made the fish disappear. In 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 in, uh, uh, in Saturday, and appear the whole week. So the fish. They come to them six days a week and they leave in Saturday. And those are fishermen. That's what they do for a living. So now how we are going to live if we cannot make living? You know, the Quran says that it's forbidden for you to eat uh, uh, pork. Correct? Yeah. But if you are hungry, if you are starving, you can. No punishment. Correct? Yeah. Okay. Those are people who they are starving. So why Allah will not forgive them for something he or already he allowed the Muslim to do? Is it to you Muslim you say Moses was a Muslim? Yeah. Okay. So those Jews obviously they are Muslims. And now they are starving. The fish come to them only uh, on the whole week. And who is the one who made the, he, he made it happen this way? Allah. So it is the it is the fault of who? If the Muslim can eat pork, if they are starving, why the Jews cannot eat on Saturday fish? They can do fishing if they are starving, especially here. That what happened is Allah act. It is Allah. Read with me carefully. Do you see the the the, the website? Yeah. The, okay, yeah. read for me. And ask them, O oh, Muhammad, uh, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, about the town that was by the sea, when they transgressed in the matter of sa of the Sabbath, i.e., Saturday, when their fish came to them openly on the Sabbath day, and did not come to them on the day they had no Sabbath. Thus, we made a trial of them, for they used to rebel. So, 
Is that fair? This God, he made the fish appear to them openly. They come to the, they come to the shore. They, they are wearing bikini. Hello, Jack Shalom. You cannot touch me. It is Saturday. And now the whole week, the Jews, there's no fish. They, they come only in Saturday. So they go in the sea. They do their best. Allah, he made it this way. Allah, he made the fish disappear. Allah, he made the fish. I mean, have you ever heard of a fish? They have a program. They come only in Saturday. Why? Like it's a vacation day. Like they, they, they work for Tesla. And they give them only one day in the week to go to, to the beach. So one day in the week, because Allah, he made it to happen this way. He forced them into starvation, according to the story. And now Allah is punishing them by making them monkeys. I mean, look at this. Look how stupid the punishment. They just did fishing. People rape, people kill, people steal, people they say the effort to Allah. I mean, there's way more. They just did fishing. Yeah, but it's God. God, God is what God, my my friend, God. God well, this is not God because if your God, He allowed the Jews, He allowed the Muslims to eat when they are hungry, starving, then He should not play games with them because this is His game. He is the one who made the the fish come only in Saturday. He is the one who made the fish stay away. So what people will eat now? Falafel. But that's the thing, they're supposed to trust in God. Even the, the, the trust of God, no, you cannot trust this God because He's playing with you. Don't you see how you can trust somebody? Isn't he's, he's an evil? You know, God, He, he said, Okay, what do you say? Uh, you can work all the week and don't work on Saturday. That means you should allow them to harvest and to be able to make living in their whole week, not make it impossible. So now they go all the week trying to catch fish and he make it, he is playing against them. So he make it impossible and now because it's impossible, they are starving, they have a children, they have a families. So now they decide, okay, you know what? We have not, you see, it's not them breaking the Sabbath because they like, it says the story clearly. Allah made them starve. You can open the interpretation and see how stupid it is. Yeah. Is that fair? Okay, is that fair? If you are, if you are, now, you are, you are there, you are a man. I say to you, you can eat only from the refrigerator six days a week. And then, if otherwise, if you eat on Saturday from the refrigerator, I will shoot you. Then you go to the refrigerator six days each time you open the door is totally empty i leave no food on saturday i put all the food delicious food there for you is that fair how you I'm, how i'm expecting you to obey me listen if if you're if you like the person you're god and you have you're omnipotent and omniscient and you have infinite knowledge and you're uh, you're essentially good in itself, then yeah, it would be completely fair, and I would be expected to because it would be a test. In the first uh, what test? That they are dying. They have children to feed. This is test. Is that how you test people? I mean, it's the same thing. I mean, I could say the same thing about you. Like, okay, but is, you see, just to show you the hypocrisy of this analogy, is it the whole earth is a test for us supposedly? How come only those people will make them monkeys? For what? For, for, for fishing? What about it's a test not to rape? So the one who rape, make him a monkey. That will help the earth to get rid of those evil ones. What about making the one who is a pedophile monkey or lizard or a cat? So why only yep. the, the one who fish? And by the way, as long as this is the penalty for fishing on Saturday, why you Muslims don't respect Saturday? Because the the Jews at the time, the reason why we Muslims don't do that and why it doesn't happen to us in the first place is because the rules at that time were exactly that. The reason why they're not... What the rules? rules no isn't, it, don't, isn't it you, you say to me, you believe in the Quran only 
and you say to me Moses and the Muslim you say that Moses is a Muslim if Moses is a Muslim then Saturday is for the Muslims how come Allah don't make you monkeys did Allah in the Quran says don't follow the Saturday but just Muslim when I say uh, Musa is a Muslim I use Muslim to say submit to God that's what God uh, no he don't submit to God Musa is smarter than this we can prove in two seconds that Musa have nothing to do with the God of Islam what Moses? How how Moses? Okay, how why Moses did not go and do Hajj? Because I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's contradictory if what? he did. But okay, hold on. The Quran says Abraham he built the Kaaba. Is that correct? Yeah. All right. Will you do me this following verse? That means. The Muslim they say that uh, Abraham and Ishmael they were there, right? Yeah. In Mecca, correct? Yes. And Ishmael and Abraham they are prophet in Islam, correct? Yes. And they warn people to accept Allah, correct? Of course. Okay. Read with me this and love. We go here, we see the following. A chapter <clears throat> 34, verse number 44. Can you read for me what it says? And we had not given them scriptures which they could study, nor sent to them before you, O Muhammad, وسلم, any warner, messenger. <laughs> So how Abraham and Ishmael were there? They never have books. They never saw a prophet. Never. Never, never. And no, not even a warner. So why they claim that Ibrahim was there and Ishmael were there and uh, Abraham, he prayed to Allah and even the wife of Abraham came there and the water of Zamzam. Suddenly, this uh, the city is just a pagan city. They know nothing about the God of Abraham. No warner came before Muhammad. And you see the word before? Yeah. Okay, so it's not about even the time of Muhammad. It's, all, it's like even about the before, before you. If I say before you, it means whoever before you, nobody came, correct? Yes. So how uh, how Abraham was there? Well, I mean, scripture necessarily refers to something like the Quran doesn't necessarily negate the, the possibility of it being a message sent by God. What do you mean possibility? If I say nobody came before you, Muhammad, to Mecca, are you saying to me there's a possibility that Allah He sent Muhammad, but He forgot? that he sent Abraham and Abraham and Ishmael they are the one who built the Kaaba he forgot so he said to Muhammad nobody came there before you does uh, it doesn't say came over there before it, just, it says it says talks about it the says scripture. it says it says and the scriptures yeah like okay, okay do uh, did Abraham give books yeah okay get, uh, so Abraham is a prophet and he have scriptures thank you very much yeah. So what do you mean? You know, it's not. Yeah. So they have books and they have scriptures. Yeah, but revelations doesn't necessarily equate to just scripture. It could be any. It could be any other type of miraculous way. No revelation. Them. It is a scriptures and it is even written. The Quran says it clearly. It is written. Suhuf Ibrahim. Here we go. It is not even just a revelation. It is a book. The same as the Torah, chapter 87, verse number 19. Suhuf Ibrahim wa Musa. In Arabic, the word Suhuf is not a scriptures. It is books, pages. Sure, but what I'm trying to say is a command doesn't necessarily like need to be scripture in itself. It's not, not up to you. That. It's not up to you. If I say nobody entered this house before, it's mean nobody entered this house before. So look what are you doing? 
you are trying to, you know, you, you, like you, are, you know, the mercury, the, the, the material mercury is so easy to flip here, go there. Yeah, it's hard to catch it. You are trying to be like this. So I show you, it says, Muhammad, no way he did the miracle of the moon split. In the same Quran says, they keep asking him long after such a so-called miracle, how come not even a single miracle, not a single one, not only one verse in the Quran, tons of verses. And Muhammad never said, well, I'd give you a miracle. Then I showed you the other contradiction about Adam and, 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 uh, and, uh, uh, and Isa and the cow story. And then now I show you that Abraham obviously never was there. What do you do? Not necessarily. Not exactly. God is almighty. What does this have to do with my topic? Are we speaking to mature or we are trying to be kids? And now, if we say that Abraham was there in Mecca and he built the Kaaba, correct? Yeah. Okay, where is his wife? Like what Abraham did, he threw Isaac in the street, he sent him to America. How come he came with Ishmael? What happened to the other wife and the children? He threw them in the field, he donated them to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to charity. The whole story doesn't make sense. And Abraham is a person who speaks Aramaic, not Arabic. So if the people who they are in Mecca, they are his people, then they should speak his language. Ishmael, his mother is an Egyptian. Abraham is an Aramaic. So have you ever heard of someone who is Japanese? He marries someone, she is a Chinese. The child is a Swedish. No. So how the Arab became they, they are they, so the whole story is a fabrication. Suddenly Muhammad is from Ishmael and Abraham was there. And, and not only that, even Adam he was there too. Adam he did he did Hajj 40 times. And do you know where Adam he uh, he came down? From heaven. Yeah, where? Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. In uh, in Sri Lanka. Don't you know? No. Is there in Quran a verse that says that? Huh? Well, no, not in the Quran. But we have, uh, you know, this is why you escape from the Hadith. <clears throat> Where Adam landed. But it doesn't say in the Quran. Linka. Okay. Huh. Watch with me and laugh. From amongst those. Now, if we look at Adam alayhi salam, he came down onto the earth. He was sent to the earth. There's a question. Where did he land? He was he wasn't just thrown so that suddenly he landed, meaning he dropped, but Allah placed him on the earth. This we find in the narration of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam where he says that Adam alayhi salam nazala fil Hind. He came down in what is known as the Indo Pak subcontinent. Precisely. Precisely. Sri Lanka. Oh boy. There is a mount there known as Adam's Peak. If you go there, you will find it green and beautiful as though it is not from this earth, but it is. I'm not trying to imply anything, but I'm just saying it is so beautiful, maybe because the Sri Lankans have kept it that way. But it's a beautiful place. It is, it is said that there is a possibility that that is the place. We don't know for certain that that spot is the place, but roughly there. What about Hawa? Where did she come down? Where? In Jidda. Oh boy. <laughs> Where is Jidda? Where? Jidda is in the Arabian Peninsula. Oh boy. In what we know today as Saudi Arabia. No way. And what is the meaning of Jidda or Jadda? Uh -huh. Jidda. What? It means the grandmother. Oh it boy. It is named after her. Subhanallah. 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 True stories. Abraham was in the Kaaba. Adam, he went in, he, he, he landed in Sri Lanka. Okay, Sri Lanka is an island. So, and why Allah he sent Adam to Sri Lanka and his wife to Saudi Arabia? And how they met again? Like, did they join like a, a like dating app? 
Don't you see, my friend, that all of this is nothing but stupid and fiction stories? What is this? But, but I mean, how do I say it? There could have been a miracle of which... Ah, life. it's a miracle. I, actually, I, I saw anything I say to you, it's a stupid, you say it's a miracle. So what the miracle? So, okay, how Adam, Allah, he sent him down as a penalty now. Adam, he went down to Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is an island. How Adam, he came all the way to Saudi Arabia to do Hajj 40 times. 40 times, Adam, he go to Mecca, he come back. And how Adam knew about Mecca? Allah sent, what, and why Allah sent him to Sri Lanka if, if, if he should go to Hajj? And how he met Eve? My friend, if you want to make up a lie, at least, you know, I mean, people would die laughing at you. So imagine you say, I was the first man. And then I came down from heaven. I landed in Sri Lanka. My wife, her name is Eve, and she was sexy, and you know it. She landed in Saudi Arabia. If somebody asks you a question, for the sake of the shin of Allah, how you met to the, together again? And why Allah, he put them in two different continents? This is two different continents. There's, there's ocean between them. Yes, Saudi Arabia is in Asia, and Sri Lanka is in Asia, but still, I mean, there is, there's a, this is the Arabian Peninsula, this is Sri Lanka, this is part of India, and it's an island. There's no road, there's no, did he swim all the way to Saudi Arabia? Yeah, but how do I say this? We don't know exactly how they went there, and since we don't know, we can My friend, it's some... you see, you are the one who speaks about common sense. Suddenly, we do not need common sense. Suddenly, it is okay, we do not know, let it go. I mean, all those stupid things, yeah, it's okay. You know, you remind me of the story of my, my grandfather. My, my, my grandma, she told me a story. I don't know if you, you will like it. She told me that my grandfather, when he died, he died and he was holding a stick and nobody noticed for a year. I did not believe it. Do you? Uh, I don't know. Like... What do you mean? He died standing. And he stays standing for a year and nobody noticed that he is dead. Oh, I mean, obviously, it's not going to be true. Are you saying to me, are you insulting me now? Are you saying my grandmother, she's lying? I don't know. I, I don't, I, I think your grandma is false. Guys, he hurt my feeling. I have to go, sorry. Well, this is what the Quran saying. But the Quran <laughs> saying that Suleiman, he dies standing, holding a stick. And the grandma I'm talking about is your prophet. So you called him false. So according to your prophet, Suleiman, he died standing. And because he was holding a stick, nobody noticed that he is dead. Entered the termite, they ate his stick and he fell down. And remember, always you say to me, maybe Allah possible, you know, Allah is all winner, blah, 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 blah. But right away now you told me, oh, sorry, your, you know, your grandma is false, you know, and you are hurting my feeling now, you know. I mean, what I would say to my mother, my grandmother, read with me. Chapter 34, verse number 14. Uh, do you want me to read? Go ahead. Then when we decreed death for him, uh, Sulaiman, nothing informed them, jinns of his death except a little warm of the earth which kept slowly gnawing at its stick. So when he fell down, the jinns saw clearly that if they had known the unseen, they would not have stayed in the humiliating torment. Mm. You told me the story is false. What you will say now? You will give excuse to your prophet about such a silly, stupid story? The guy is dead, holding the stick for a year? And nobody notice? He's a king? He had ministers? He have generals. According to Islam, he have a massive army of a 3,500 mile long army. He have 700 wives. And nobody noticed that this Abdul is dead just because he's holding a stick. Like what? You're a prophet. He never heard of something that a body would decay. Since when a human being, if he's holding a stick and he die, like I saw, you know, I saw it in the movie. So, you know, like 20 people, they die heart attack right away in the street and this and then now they are there they are there standing you know what is this what you will tell me now 
You will give me excuse, maybe Allah. Allah is a miracle. What is what is this? Remember, you told me my grandmother is false. Yeah, and now, and now, what you will do? I am sure what you will do. You will get your duct tape and start ducking tape the story to make it fit. But a second ago, you told me it's false. Go ahead. But I mean, the difference is really different context because you. What different? Is... What different? The guy he died. He's a man. He's a yeah, human. And he's been given so what if he's a prophet okay if he's a prophet how Allah he allowed the termite to eat his steak same time how does that contradict with being a prophet my friend just okay just go you know you are just a kid sorry I cannot take you no more I mean you are a hypocrite for for real you are a big fat hip I'm not insulting you you are a big fat hypocrite so now because he's a prophet so what my grandfather was a prophet my grandmother she was the wife of a grandfather of a prophet. What the heck is that? All those fiction stories. And here, and by the way, this is why I mentioned this to him to show you how hypocrite they are. The story is false as long as it's not in the Quran. The second you say it's in the Quran, it's true. <laughs> There's no point of talking to you. Sorry, I'm not going to waste my time with you. You are being a hypocrite. Go look at yourself in the mirror. No, no honesty, no dignity, no ethic. What is this? Flying carpet of Suleiman. Okay, what is the flying carpet? Gog and Magog. They built a wall. Like, what the heck? Where is the wall? Maybe Allah he make it hidden. Like what? I cannot talk to someone don't have any honesty. Especially already you gave me the answer and you said my grandfather you, you were rude to me saying your grandmother is false. But you are not, you don't dare to be rude with yourself and say to yourself, your God is false. That's the whole story. How stupid this book is. What the heck is this? And then if you read, read, if you read this chapter here, you would die laughing. What is this? So a man is building statues in the house of Allah. I thought the statues are haram. And look, by the way, here they took the word statues off. In Arabic it says tamathil. You change the translator, you will find the word tamathil, statues. And then what? Flying carpet. Like what the heck? And not to mention the flying horse. Suleiman, he has a flying horse before the flying carpet. He slaughtered the flying horse. Allah, he replaced the flying horse for him with the flying carpet. How come Muhammad, he had a donkey? How come Muhammad, he went even to seven heaven in the, uh, uh, like in the sky, supposedly, in the top of a donkey? Where is the flying carpet? Where is the flying horse? Allah, he taught Suleiman the language of the birds. But Suleiman, he speak the language of the ants. Suleiman, he heard the ant. The ant is talking. Since when the ants, they talk. He heard her speech. But ants are deaf and mute. They don't. They communicate. Yes, you can say this is talking. But you cannot say it is her speech. In Arabic, the Quran says, nemla. The ant she said. How in the world such a book can be a book of God? This is not even good for kids. The ant she said. What the ant said? Hold your testicles, otherwise Suleiman will crush them. What the heck is that? And then Suleiman, look at this. 
So he, Suleiman, smiled, amused at her, the power, uh, speech, speech, go right now, search in Google, ants don't talk, they are deaf, they are totally deaf, they hear nothing, they communicate only by two ways, chemical and vibration, vibration, which means they look at the body of each other, not on the drum, And then Suleiman, after he heard the speech, and why he is amazed, look like this is the first ant ever he hear her voice. This has happened to me, you know. Uh, you know, uh, I was sitting, and uh, there was a guy who was sitting next to me, and he was moving his in his chair. I said to him, "If there is an ant in your pant, an ant, she jumped from his pant, and she said, "Yes, how you know?" I said, Subhanallah, Rabbul Alameen, I am a prophet. How I know? I was joking, actually. It turned to be true. And the end, she heard me, even though she is deaf. But because I'm a prophet, it's possible, it's possible, yeah. And now the prophet, by the way, he was a flying in the flying carpet. So how is going to step on the ant if he is a flying in the sky? How he will crush them? And then if you go, just two verses, you will see it says that Allah, he taught Suleiman the language of the birds. <laughs> so I go to school to study the language of the birds, I get out of the school, and I start talking to ants. Look like the bird's language is international, like English. All animals, they knew it, even insect. So you learn the language of the duck, walk, 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 and to understand you. I will unmute you for a minute, give you a chance to say your piece. Otherwise, my friend, I'm not here to waste my time. I don't want to be rude to you, but you are not being honest. Go ahead. Okay, so, I, I, I how do I say this? My... Um, my um, intention isn't to, to be a hypocrite at all. I'm not doing that. When I, when I, what I mean by miraculous is that I presuppose is already the Quran is already the truth, and so I don't view how necessarily uh, miracles uh, that can't necessarily be explained be necessarily contradicting to uh, like uh, uh, logically contradicting. My friend, how this is a miracle? This is a miracle of what? What the point of this miracle? A guy walking in the street. He heard an ant. What the point of this story? Who in the world going to believe it? Who was the witnesses? And if you can hear the ant, that means you can hear a trillion ants. Do you know how many ants in the colony? You would go crazy. Imagine if I go now in my yard and I hear all the ants talking. So Suleiman, he heard only one ant. Imagine you can hear all the sounds of those ants. Let us say for the sake of argument they are talking. They can talk, which is not true. This is a stupid story. This is a Jew, this is a Jewish story that read to their kids. The Sari Muhammad, he took it, he put it in the Quran. And you keep telling me miraculous. I say to you, what is the miracle? You, you mentioned the Khamar, it turned to be false. There is no way the, the moon is split. Is this an eclipse? It's not split. Here we go. The moon, we have it. Where's the witnesses? Nobody saw it. Even the Quran say clearly that the Arab, they keep asking Muhammad, not even a single, how come not even a single miracle? You know, I will, I will give you a chance, last chance. If Allah, he says to people, you should not believe on any prophet unless he gives sacrifice and then I send the fire to consume it. And the people, they follow the step of Allah. Is that the right thing to do? Um, could you repeat that? I'm sorry. If I am God, if I am Allah, Allah, he said, let us say, to the crowd, to the people, don't accept any prophet who claim to be prophet unless he do the following. He sacrifice a sheep 
and then I will send fire from the sky if I do that by doing that I confirm he's a prophet never follow any prophet unless he do that so if I do that am I doing wrong if I follow the command of Allah and I refuse to accept any prophet unless he do exactly as Allah said to me am I being a bad person no and what about the prophet who refused to do that is he a bad person or the one who claimed to be a prophet technically yeah thank you well in a minute from now you will say you will change your mind the Quran says the following that Allah he put conditions on the Jews that they shall not accept any messenger ever unless he gives sacrifice and then Allah he send the fire from the sky consuming the sacrifice which means announcing the acceptance the same as what happened to Abraham if you do that accept him Muhammad refuse and not only refuse he agree that this is the condition of Allah on them he did not say to them no Allah did not in fact he confirmed that the prophets before him they did that he refused to do it so if uh, and you are the one who said to me if this is what Allah he told them to do never listen to a prophet it's a condition it's a command never believe in anyone unless he do the following and you agreed so why yes. Muhammad don't do the command of Allah I'll be honest I have no answer my friend you have to be you have answer you have answer it's obvious if Allah told us anyone who don't do that is a liar this is the whole point of this sacrifice Okay, many anyone can claim to I can claim to be a prophet you can claim to be a prophet he will go you saw dream your mother she saw dream it's you and your mother you are dream you are you are a dreamer now so now you are a prophet but there is there there's not everybody can say I'm prophet you have to prove it and Allah he made a condition on them never accept anyone and the Quran confirmed like this Muhammad did not say you know what no this is not true Allah never said no he said yes and many prophet before me did that still you don't really believe in them which is false name the prophet who did that and the Jews did not believe in him even the Messiah many of the Jews believe in him who say they did not isn't it all the disciples of Jesus are Jews so this is a fallacy and if this is the condition then it is obligation to Muhammad to do as Allah said for he told them never listen believe anyone he's a liar if he don't do that in the top of that the whole Quran is, is is full of garbage well, what is your education my friend yeah it would seem as so what, what? Still, you are what it would seem as so but I'm still trying to what um, what is your education like what uh, do you have degrees do you finish school what do you do Oh, um, at the moment I'm finishing college and I'm going to become uh, an astrophysicist what is that what does that mean I don't know it's um, I don't know what that word mean if you can it's explain. like basically physics but uh, for uh, the, the space it's like a all right physics. as long as long you are a person who understand physics that's good do you like to talk about physics of course I love talking and, about and, all and science things. okay let's talk about physics and science all right uh, you want to teach you physics it's just like mechanic stuff or like uh, about space or just mechanic uh, I mean uh, it's it's very different because uh, astrophysics takes from a lot of concepts from mechanics and uses relativity to basically uh, make a new paradigm uh, a new framework because mm. the old Newtonian uh, mechanics are kind of outdated I know Newtonian Newtonian is my, my my cousin you know thank you see you met him you guys you make Newtonian we, we are, uh, say hello to him I don't know what you are talking about but anyway let us go to the Quran 
let us see the unitanium, unitanium of Muhammad. Muhammad is a, is a, Allah is a doctor. Allah, he knew everything. Allah, he knew what nobody knows. I don't know where you live, but do the sun rise in your area? Yeah. Do the sun set in your area? Uh, I mean, it's both sun rises, but it also sets. That's strange. Because according to the Quran, there is only a certain place where the sun set and there is only a certain place where the sun rise. Chapter 18, verse number 86. This is a guy, his name is Zulqarnain. What his name? Nobody knows. Zulqarnain means the guy with the two horn. Maybe he was a cow. So this guy, the Jews, they came to Muhammad making fun of him as usual, getting him busted. They told him there is a prophet. His, his called Zulqarnain, which is known to be Alexander the Great. Muhammad, he believed them. Those are the Jews. I mean, they are the one who have the book of God. So now he, ex, you know, he, he took the, 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 the bait and he swallowed it. And now he came to them after two weeks and he told them, Allah told me about your question. This is the answer. And they asked you about Zulqarnain. I shall recite to you something in his story. Okay, tell us. Verily we established for him in the earth and we gave him uh, the means of everything. Wonderful. So he followed away. Wonderful. Wow. Okay. Until when he reached the setting of the sun. By the way, it's not setting. It's setting place of the sun. Hmm. If you change the translator, just to show you how they lie in the, trans, the, trans, the, the Muslim translation. Until he went to the setting place of the sun. Look here, it says sitting of the sun. But uh, how in the world he, he reached the sitting of the sun? <laughs> anyway, we change the translator. Let us see. Until we find one of them, he have decency. Let us see how the Muslim translation. The sitting of the sun again. Let us see uh, Khattab or Ahmad Raza Khan. Maybe we'll find somebody have this and see. Ah, here we go. To the extent that when he reached the sitting place of the sun, he found it sitting in a muddy spring. <laughs> so now, as long as you study uh, uh, titanium, titanium, I don't know what is that. I don't even know how to say the word because I don't even have high school. Uh, how you can solve this problem? I will tell you. The Muslim now they will say, Brother and sister, the Christian brand is blind. This is at a period of the name. So in his appearance, he thought that the sun didn't ever give water. I think that was the sir. If you go to the Southern and you see the sun in the sunset time, what do you think? You think that the sun is going in the ocean. Sister, the Quran never said that the sun didn't ever give water. The Quran said it appeared to him. He said, what appear? Where is the word appear? Allah is talking. He says he found it. He found it. He did not. He did not think. He thought. He found it. What? Sitting. Okay, where is the ocean? You see, when they try to cover it up, they say, "Brother Peter, you go to the ocean. You see it. The ocean didn't go to the ocean. But in the fact, the ocean didn't go to the ocean." What ocean? There's no ocean. It's a spring of muddy hot water. In fact, in Arabic it says Hamiya, which means boiling water. You see the word the Quran Hamiya is not only about hot, it's about blazing hot. This is why the Quran described the hell as Hamiya. If I type the word Hamiya here, what you will see? You will see description of the Quran of the of the hell, the chapter 88, verse number four, and chapter 101 both of them speaking about hamia which is the hell this is how hot it is blazing fire this is not the ocean so this is a description for a spring of a blazing fire and this is where the sun set and zulqarnain the guy with the two horn he found it there what say you and your physics I mean, it's by the it's impossible. But this is the Quran. 
Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Why? Because you said the other translation are dishonest. Why, why do you think so? Because I'm an Arab, I speak Arabic, I can see it right away. In Arabic it says, here we go, you can type, you see, here, you can type this word. Okay, you know what? I will type this word, you know. I will go to the hadith that show you what your prophet says. I will type here, in the screen, you see my screen? Yeah. All right. Let us see what Muhammad said, exactly the same word. Read it. This is your prophet. Explain what happened. Can you read? Yeah, okay. I was sitting beside, uh, behind the, men, uh, the messenger of Allah, who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting. He asked, do you know where this sets? I replied, Allah and his apostle knows the best. He said, it sets in a spring of warm water, Hamiya. Still false translation, by the way, because Hamiya is not warm water. Is a blazing hot. However, this is Muhammad himself. Where the sun set? Does it say appear to him? He thought, as Zakarnak says, they lie, or he confirmed this is where the sun set. He confirmed, right? Yeah. And you still want to be a Muslim? I mean, um, how, how do I say this? I mean, yeah, I having like thoughts. Huh? I'm, I'm having doubt. You have a doubt? Only doubt? Yeah. I mean, isn't it obvious? But, okay. Listen, even, listen. Uh, okay, let me show you where the sun rise. Are we done? No, we are not done. It turned to me that your prophet, when he spoke about Zulqarnayn, this guy, he changed direction. Now he found where the sun set and he found next to it people. Wonderful. Next to where the sun set, brother. All right. And then he took another direction. And until he keep going, keep going, keep going, until he reached the rising place of the sun. <laughs> As I know, the sun rise and set everywhere. He reached the rising place of the Are you sure? And then the story is not over. The story is getting more complicated. And then he continued going after that to different direction. He kept changing direction until he reached between the two mountains. He found before them a nation that did not appear to understand the speech. When somebody says to you, my friend, I don't know what's your name, you call yourself K. When somebody says to you, they don't understand a word. Or a speech that means they don't understand anything right we cannot communicate is that correct yeah okay read the verse after it they say a second ago you said they don't understand anything I mean just a second ago you say those people are potatoes they don't understand the world a second after you say they said oh Indeed, Ya'ajuju wa Ma'ajuj are spreading kawas. Like what? You, but you just said they cannot understand the word. Suddenly, they are smart. They are using the word indeed. And they are genius. And they are telling Zulqarnayn how to stop them. In Arabic, by the way, in Arabic it says that not only they don't understand speech, they are stupid. La yafqahuna qawlan. They are stupid. Let me try to change the translation for you. Just to show you how the drama of Islam work. Let us see Sahih International. Hmm. They don't understand any speech. <laughs> read, read. I mean, look at this. And then they found before them a nation that they don't appear to understand any speech. Like I talk to them, or like what? What you said? Huh? They are stupid. They are dummy. They don't understand anything. But a second ago, suddenly they become engineers. They are telling Zulqarnayn in the clear language what to do. 
They are talking about Gog and Nagog. They are planning to solve the problem. They told him, we will hire you. Suddenly, Zulkarnay became a contractor to build the wall. I mean, this guy is a king, supposed to he controlled the earth. And look what they say to him. Anyone know this guy, what, he said, what they said to him? Uh, do I mean? Huh? Like, did, did you notice what, uh, what, what uh, Zulkarnayn, what, what happened when they asked him to do that? Uh, did, yeah. Um, what, what do you notice in this uh, conversation, in your, in your own reading? <clears throat> yeah, I guess you could say the contradiction is that they, they uh, it said that they do not speak, um, but just then they describe uh, not, uh, uh, not only that, <clears throat> Uh, we arrive to the story of Gog and Magog. Gog and Magog, as a creatures, according to the Quran, Zulkarnain he built a wall between us and them, which means between us as mankind and them as those creatures. So they cannot go through. And then, Zulkarnain, he says, okay, bring me sheets of iron. Actually, uh, he did not say sheet. He says, like, bring me iron, you know, like uh, the fine iron, actually. Until when they had, uh, 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 like, they, ra they raised the equal edges between the two mountains. And he put in it a blaze of fire from melting copper. So he melted copper in it. This is the engineering of Zulkarnain. We have two mountains. And now he built a wall between us and them. But how that can prevent those people from coming to us? They can go around the mountain. This is, can happen only if the Quran talking about a flat earth and there's a mountain splitting this earth to pieces a fence between us and them in the whole land to the end of the earth to the edges of the earth edges of the earth can be used as a you know like a figure of speech no problem but here it cannot be because here it's obviously there's a wall between us and them and those animals or creatures or whatever they are, they cannot get out until they make a hole in the wall, which made by Zulkarnay. And then you will see here. So now he put them behind the wall. And, uh, uh, you know, they cannot come out. Until, and they keep trying to come out. They will try always to come out, to pierce it. So since Zulkarnayn until now, the wall is exist, and obviously they are unable to go to go. But we have Google Map, and we can check every inch in this earth. Is that correct, my friend? Yeah. We cannot find those people who they are by billions, by the way, because according to Muhammad, every one of them before he die, he make one thousand baby. While a human being, he make one, they will make one thousand. So if we are 7 billion, they are trillions. And all of them they are behind the wall and each day they try to make a hole in the wall until the day of judgment. This is what it says here in verse number 98. Until that day arrive, they will be able to go through and then they will come like waves. And then the story continue, they will come and they will try to attack the Arabian Peninsula they will drink the water of Tabaraya, blah, blah, blah. Fiction is stupid story. You still want to be a Muslim? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I can't, like, I, I, I always... No, no, you should stay as a Muslim because you like cartoon. I mean, obviously you like cartoon. I like Mickey Mouse to myself too. Me and you, we can sit watching cartoon together, drinking coffee. Why not? I mean, this is a cartoon. What? What? Uh, you are? You are? Until now, you are hesitating to leave Islam. Are you serious? 
I told uh, I'm I am because I'm like I have uh, experiences with Islam. Uh, like um, there's a lot of times where like I've had paranormal experiences where only like Islam helps me. <laughs> that is I, that is your like, fiction, my friend. Is like okay. So if I tell you a story before you sleep about a flying carpet, that help you? How Islam can help you? This is stupid religion. What Islam help you? Islam, I don't know. Islam, I don't know. Islam killing nations. Islam destroying nations. Islam allowing having sex with the children. Islam allow, allowing rape. Do you know that Muslim they can have sex with their dead wife? Do you know that? No. Well, search right now fatwa for dead wife. Fatwa having sex with dead wife. This is what the Muslims you want to be one of those? Well, good for you. Any of us don't do that. And this is the Sheikh of the Azhar, the, the professor of Azhar. Do you know that Muslim they can eat an apostate? They can cook him and eat him? A, a what? Apostate who leave Islam, it's allowed to cook him and eat him. <laughs> no, I didn't know that. Yeah, you don't know anything about Islam. All what you know is that make you feel better. <laughs> I'm not looking at you, you know, but this is a sad situation. I'm trying my best to help you, but it's up to you. Islam does not help anyone. Go and see Islamic countries. It's corrupt. It's destroyed. This is why you will not find any Muslim country without bars in the windows. Is that because Islam makes them better people? Is that because because Islam is a good religion? Women they cannot walk in the street alone, secure. I, I see what you're telling me. I'm, I, I say, um, I'm, what I what I can say is, I'm I'm thinking, I can't, uh, because just what I'm trying to say is that I can't just go exclaim because if I don't believe, I'll necessarily go to hell. In you know, not necessarily we go to hell. Hold on. First of all, if this God is false anyway, I mean he's false, you are going to hell anyway. You are believing in false, something false. So you are just saying to yourself, okay, now I know he's false. I will believe in him even if he's false. I mean, is that is that the person who studied physics? No. Is that what physics says? Like I so said, one plus one is going to take me to two. And two is equal to hell. Still, I'm going to do one plus one, which is equal to two, which is mean hell. Still, you want to do it. So now I can I can show you stories non-stop until the coming century about this garbage religion. Well, Islam make you you know I I, I try to convince someone not to stop taking uh, you know uh, uh, drugs. He keeps saying that make me feel better. I don't know what to say. I say it will kill you, will destroy you, will you know. Doesn't matter. Make make him feel better. This is what you are doing. Uh, you know, drugs make you feel better. Islam is drugs. Muhammad he promised his followers in this penis. And actually, this is why I do not convert. I mean, that will problem. How am I going to walk with it? The only way to walk with such a thing is to drag it and walk backward. You cannot walk with the penis, which you know. You know, you would hit the eyes of Joe Biden. Already, the guy he cannot see. What is it? This is a religion. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of speechless. I'm sorry. I'm, a, I'm still uh, finding this dilemma uh, in me. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I can't. I have not. I'm. You can say I'm sp speechless. Well, I'm trying to help you. You see, I am. I am. Maybe I'm tough in in the way I talk to people, but I'm trying. The whole point is not to be rude to you. The whole point is to make you see what I see. And no, then, I understand. Your yeah. intentions are pure, and I can feel that. And I'm, I haven't doubted that at all. In this server, when I've talked with everyone, everyone has been nice to me, treating me like family. And, uh, you know, when I talked with Christians, all of them, uh, you know, pray and, like, and tell me, like, how much uh, Jesus loves me and uh, how I could be saved. I know, like, I can tell just by feeling that your intentions are good. I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not doubting that at all. You will stay a Muslim? 
I I don't know. I'm I'm thinking. It's it's hard. It's because I'm I'm just I'm just too scared. I don't, I don't know. I don't scared from what? I mean, if if you are scared from going to hell, this is hell. Obviously, this is a joke. You know, this is okay. This is gonna be a true God. If you actually, in fact, if you are a person who avoid hell and you believe in hell, then you should avoid this now because it's obvious this is false. What is this? Yeah, let's say it's false, right? But let's say I became Christian. I'd be the only person in my family that is Christian. So what? I, so I what? My friend, my friend. Am I worried about how many? Let's just say I am the only Christian in my city. This is their business. The one who want to go to hell, he go to hell. Let's say I live in a city like when Abraham he was living in 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 the city his city, the whole city were were Sodomite, correct? Shall he follow them too? No, but just knowing that you're, you, you know, your your own mother who gave birth to you is gonna go to hell because she was. What be you, then you try to save her? You know, you try to explain to her if you love your mother, you don't let her go to hell. You, you warn her. You know, this is what I, this is why we as a Christians we're trying to help you because I don't know you. I never met you. I will get nothing of it except, except losing my voice. I can go right now watch a movie instead of talking to you. What kind of a night? This night, every day I come here, I speak for many hours, I lose my voice, I scream at people, and I'm still repeating the same thing, and I still people, they want to be ignorant. It doesn't help me anything, except I'm helping you. So, yeah, you, you help yourself, you help your mom, you help your whoever you love, you try to help them. If you don't help them, if you don't warn them, it's mean you like them to go to hell. You don't care. You just want to keep the situation as it is and don't warn them that the wolf is waiting for them to eat them alive. I mean, I'm, I mean, from what I can tell, like, if I, like, left this down, for me, I mean, Christianity is the obvious choice because I believe in God in the first place. But if, if I try to, like you said, if I try to become Christian and convince my mother, but my mother would know that I would go to hell because I would. Uh, you like, you are, still she know wrong. Who care what she know? She know wrong. She don't know. She is guessing. In fact, is the opposite. And you can bring your mother to me, and I will help her. If you don't want her to talk in public, I can talk to you and your mom in private. But you have to be with her, not only her. I don't speak to uh, uh, you know alone. So you have to be with her. If you want, I can talk to you and your mom to help you. And let her listen. If she is a, a person who listens, she, she is willing to listen. And then if she is not convinced, okay, what you can do? But this is another reason to stay in, in uh, what if my parents are pagans? I will stay pagan? No. Yeah, so mm -hmm. this is not, Apparently. this is not, uh, the, you know, we have to be smart. And if, you know, like when you are in the airplane, what they say to you, the first thing when you have a, uh, like uh, if there is something happen, you they say to you, you put the oxygen mask first on your face, correct? Yeah. Then help others, because in a few seconds you will not be able to breathe. So it's not a smart, even though you love everyone around you. So in order to save people, you have to save them in the right way. You start with yourself. You learn how to swim, so the one is drowning. You can grab his hand and take him out. But if both of you do not know how to swim, well, both of you will be drowning. You just walk, go with the water. The water taking you to the end where you will fail over the cliff. And you know it's coming. So what we do? We keep going with the water. We know that the, the end is horrible. We know now, I can't tell that you agree with me. Islam is, is just a lie. So what is all the me? I will be the only one in my family. So that is not a reason, my friend. But, but the the sorrow my mother will have is going to be immense. Imagine knowing your your child's going to be burning in hell because my, my friend, you try to help your mom. I'm not saying it is nice to to see your mom. She don't believe and she's living in the wrong belief. I'm not saying that. But you have a situation, you have to solve it, and the, the solve it is to, to work, to save her, not to cry on her. You see? 
you will die I will die so crying on me that I will die doesn't work because simply I mean this is something we can't change but salvation is a different story me myself and I'm being very honest with you if all my family don't believe in Christ I will not even cry a single tear on any of them for a very simple reason not because I don't love them and you love your family more but this is their choice they did that to themselves. Why am I crying on them? I will not. I will not even think about it for a second. If a person he decides to go to hell by his choice, how we can cry for such a person? And why? But it's not even smart. So in your case. You have the time, you are still young, you can talk to your mom, you can you know, explain to her, take your time, it's going to take maybe not a week, maybe two, maybe three, maybe a year, but still you can save her. You show her reference, you show her stories, watch my videos, read my books, you will see how stupid this cult is, and slowly, 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 you can convince your mother to be out of Islam and you save her. Nothing impossible with God, the Bible says especially if you depend on the Lord not in yourself only and me myself I don't depend on myself when I speak to people I depend on the Lord I say okay Lord let us see today you know the Messiah he spoke to us he said I will make you fishermen so I go fishing I'm a fisherman but I fish for men to save them not to eat them so I depend on the Lord to make me successful, success is not mine. And success is not yours. No. Salvation is yours. Not the act itself, the act is not yours. Because you can stay now uh, uh, making yourself as smart and thinking about, okay, I have a choice, which one? But then all the choices will not help you unless you get the success and the success only through the Messiah by accepting him he will make you successful it's not you who make yourself successful by coming to the right place it could uh, I'm sorry um, could I uh, ask you like, a question go ahead <laughs> I told you about my story about the dreams right like where I had yeah. the, the, what do you what do you think of that? Well, you know, uh, uh, I mean, sometimes there is there is a dreams can be uh, for for sure from God a vision, but they have to do they have to be something about God and something uh, useful for you know like what are you a prophet now? No, so what the dream? Me myself, there is many things can happen to me. Sometimes I don't understand them. Like as an example, I. I, I, I see myself saying something to someone and then I meet this person maybe six months after and then the whole conversation between me and that person happened exactly word by word how I can explain it I don't know I have no idea but I'm not going to make a drama about it because that that thing does not serve God does not serve salvation it's right, just a normal conversation it might be like crazy scary like how this happened but still, what, uh, we, we, I can't explain it, but still it is not about God. It's not about salvation. So if we depend only in a dream, like I know some people, they say they saw dreams about Jesus, they become a Christian. For me, I, you know, I prefer that someone accepted the Messiah because he understands the Messiah, not because he saw a dream. Because you might see another dream. I might see uh, I might see the Buddha tomorrow. We I become Buddhist, and then the day after I see uh, you know uh, Gandhi, I become Gandhian. You know, what dream? The dream have to have a, a to serve a purpose in my life, and it have to be something way more than just a dream. Not just a 
like you know let's say I'm struggling I'm waiting for an answer and then I see a vision a real vision not just a dream when I'm sleeping let's say like now I'm talking I'm sitting in my room and I see a vision of angel or someone talking to me and it's not illusion it's, it's real that is something otherwise dreams watch horror movie you see horror dream you speak about the topic you go to sleep you will sit in your dream but it's not just that it's the fact that my my mother knew of of the dream without even having a to know, uh, have, without even me telling her, it's, I can't. Exp I can't just explain it as if it was. A I will dream. give you. I will give you a solution. It's up to you. You're a prophet, according to the Quran. He received satanic verses. Shaitan he throw in his mind, and his tongue, satanic verses. So, if the Muslims, and now you think yourself as a Muslim. Believe that Muhammad himself he received satanic revelation. Why it's not the same to you? Here we go. I show you the Quran. You see, if the Quran is a book of God, I will say the opposite. I will say, well, this from God. But I just showed you tons of proofs, and already you agree with me that the Quran cannot be from God. Now you are preserving yourself from leaving Islam because of a dream? The, the thing... Muhammad received the, satanic verses. Muhammad uh, said, Shaitan, he command me. I mean, uh, like, it's... Uh, what I'm trying to say is how, uh, like, uh, in, in Christianity, right, suicide is... Uh, gets you thrown in hell, right? Yeah, and? Yeah, well, if it wasn't for that dream, I would have done it. Well, how, no problem. How, you see, the dream was good. But is, it, is the dream like Allah, he says to you, don't do suicide? He came to you? No, but the reason why my, my, my mother could have known as such is because she's Muslim. And she, she believed that dream to be specifically uh, from God. My friend, many things happen to us in our life. And then we can we try to find a solution. We say, why this has happened? Oh, maybe this is the dream who changed everything for me. But I don't think so. I think if you are determined to do something to yourself, you will do it. But you are not, you know, you are you are not even going to think about it, you know, to be done for real. However, my friend, it's up to you. You keep talking about a dream. I'm showing you reality. What a dream! I'm showing you a false book full of errors and mistakes, fiction stories, stories that doesn't even convince kids. But yet you believe a dream over what I showed you, which all of it, I did not use a single word from different book. I remember you are Quran only, right? Yes, you just use the Quran. Yeah, I did not use the Bible, I did not use any book, I did not use my books. I used your book, the only book you approve. And the only book you approve is nothing but garbage. This is cannot be the Arabic is is bad, grammar is bad, the word is stupid, the stories is fictions, history is awkward, science is the most horrible stupid ever you can imagine, sperm coming from the backbone of the man, the women have a sperm coming from her ribs, hail coming from mountains in, he in heaven, the sun set in murky water. Uh, I mean, we have tons of stories. All of them will lead us to one thing. Muhammad is just a fool. He's literally a fool. It's the only miracle I see in Islam that a fool like Muhammad and a stupid book like the Quran, there's people believing it. That is the only miracle. And that makes me believe that shaitan is, must be true. This is how powerful he is to deceive millions. It's clear, it's obvious that this book is so stupid. Still nobody wants to listen. I'm, it's, I'm in a tough uh, dilemma now. I, I, you could say I'm completely speechless. I'm, I'm, 
I'm really, I'm just scared. That's, that's, that's My friend, I will never be scared, especially at this moment. In fact, you are, you are, if you leave Islam right now, this is the first step to get out of hell. Otherwise, you will be in hell. In, in fact, Muhammad is said that hell and heaven in Islam, it doesn't matter if you convert to Islam or not, it's a destiny. Don't you know that? Yeah. So what the point? You believe or not, it's destiny. According to Muhammad, a person who is doing the act of people of hellfire, what is written for him as a destiny is going to take over and act like the people of people of heaven. That's maybe me, then you know I'm, I'm anti-Islam. <laughs> so imagine after all what I did to Muhammad, spanking him every day. I go to heaven, you go to hell. <laughs> that's a good one because it's destiny so what the point why are, you, why are you scared believe or not doesn't matter it's destiny it's already written for you where you will be but if uh, the destiny comes from uh, from uh, the destiny comes because uh, if you don't know in the future whether or not you will be believing if if you follow all the no no my friend no no you, you follow or you don't follow you don't understand the destiny in Islam is not about you following. It is a decision made for you before you are created. As an example, if I, okay, people who go to hell, they go to hell because they are bad or good? Because they're bad. Okay. So if a child, he is an infant, he die, he go to heaven or to hell? Heaven. Not according to Muhammad. According to Muhammad, it doesn't matter if he commits sin or not. He might still go to hell. And as you see, I'm showing the reference. This is Sahih. Muhammad and Aisha, they went to a funeral. Aisha, she said to Muhammad, I will zoom in so you can read it. And this is Sahih. She said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, this one is blessed. He is one of young ones. He is very he's infant. In paradise for he has done no evil being too young for that too young he replied <laughs> Aisha it might be the otherwise Aisha for God has created some to go to paradise doing so when they were still in their father loins backbone and he created he has created others to for hell doing so when they were still in their father's life. So uh, here we go, this is a Muslim child from a Muslim family. According to Muhammad, everyone is born as, as, as a Muslim, including me and you, which means I am an apostate. <laughs> I like that. So, and now, he just came from the funeral of the guy. So he was praying for him for what? It's destiny. The child, he commit no sin. He did not reach the age of sin. Why he might go to hell? I mean, what is the logic here? This is not about God knowing. This is about stupidity. And Aisha, she is smarter than Muhammad. She is saying, well, he did not reach the age of sin. When someone can commit sin, Muhammad is saying, no, no, don't be stupid. It might be otherwise. But this is against what God is about, God supposedly about justice, the one who commits sin, he should be punished, the one who don't, should not. In fact, Muhammad he said, let me make it simple for you. If I am, uh, let us say, if I have a bunch of kids, and I came I left them alone for like a century. I came back, I found them, they did nothing wrong. Should I kill them all? No. Yeah? You don't kill them. They did nothing wrong. I told them do this, 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 this. Uh, you know? And then they did nothing wrong. I did it exactly as I told them. I came back, they did nothing wrong. Should I kill them or give them a reward? 
you give them rewards. Reward, not in Islam. Muhammad he said, swearing by Allah, if you don't commit sin, Allah will destroy you. <coughs> Can you believe it? And he will replace you with people who commit sin and ask for forgiveness. That is your God, my friend. Your God is mentally sick. Um, but what if there's a reason that he hasn't sh shown us yet, that we don't know why? He's, wait, 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 hold on. This, because he has not exist, this is false. Same time, what the heck is this? So if you don't commit sin, <laughs> he will kill you? He will destroy you? Why? Like what do we what we did? It should be the opposite. Read carefully. The messenger said, By him whose hand my soul is. If you had not sinned, God would have removed you. Actually, the Arabic says he will destroy you. And he will bring you or replace you with people who commit sin and ask for forgiveness. Does God he loves sin? He, why he loves sin? Because sin will make you beg him for forgiveness. He is he's mentally ill. He likes you to do bad, so now you feel guilty, so now you beg him. If you don't do bad, he is unsatisfied. And this is telling you that the God of Islam is Satan, because this is not just. The just is the opposite. The one who do bad, he deserve bad. The one who do good, he deserve good. Muhammad is a mentally ill person. Um, it's kind of uh, it's kind of off topic, but I just opened the page in the Bible and. I'd like to read something. All right. Um, it's it's a Thessalonians um, uh, two Thessalonians one point twelve to two point two, and it's uh, uh, verse twelve. Mm -hmm. Okay, but what make you think about it? I, I don't know. I just had a big okay. urge. Just to just open the Bible. Uh, All right. Two Thessalonians. You said okay. From verse number what? Uh, Thessalonians 1.12 to 2.2. Okay, go ahead. Um, it's, it's, I have it in French, but it says, um, the, in a way, the name of, uh, the name of the, um, Lord Jesus, uh, be glorified in you, uh, and uh, you in him uh, the, um, to, to the grace of uh, uh, of our God and our uh, uh, our Lord Jesus Christ and uh, he tells not to his uh, um, to his arrival, um, to not uh, trouble. Uh. Yeah, see, you are you are quoting the opposite of what what Muhammad is teaching. That's a good choice. I'm surprised actually you 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 are quoting this for me. Uh, I opened it at random, and I just it's just what I seen. You open it at random. Yeah. That's amazing. Are you serious? I can show you the camera of me holding it right now, uh, the Bible. Guys, can you believe it? This is the opposite of what the topic we're talking about. Even me, if I want to choose it, I will not even remember it. He opened the Bible in random. And this is what he found, the opposite of the topic we're talking about. It's about if you are good, you will be deserving good. We will be deserving life, eternal life. 
because you are doing good, you're living good. And all the work you do is coming from your faith. And the work we do in our faith is glorifying our Lord. In Islam is obviously the opposite. This is Shaitan. You do sin, he like you. You do evil, he will let you live. You commit no sin, you are glorifying Jesus, so he will kill you. This is what Muhammad said. I find this is amazing. He opened a random page in the Bible and look what he got. Uh, can I write the can I show the picture in the chat? You can. Go ahead. I don't know if uh, that is possible. It's uh, I think in stage permission. Well, I don't know. Uh, I'm not really too much familiar with this uh, Discord. How to do things? We we stop many permission for for security, but we believe you, my friend. Mm. We believe you. <laughs> do you see? You just receive a message from God Himself. Otherwise, why this? Why this verse? I'm kind of I don't know what to say you leave Islam and you accept the Messiah if I'm you you are the one who said a dream or well, this is not dream this is real our conversation is real the point we spoke about sin and good and bad is real Muhammad obviously is wrong cannot be from God God should not glorify the one who is doing bad and let them live and punish the one who never commits sin and let them die, destroy them. And the chapter you are reading for me from the Bible is absolutely right. This is justice. You live good, you do good, following the faith. By doing that, you are glorifying Jesus. It's not if you do good, we will kill you. Jesus will not will never destroy you for doing good. You destroy yourself when you do bad. You glorify the Lord when you do good. That is the word of God. And there is no doubt. And Muhammad, obviously, he don't speak for God. He speaks for the devil. In fact, the, the hadith I showed you, what Muhammad is doing is encouraging people to commit sin. Don't you agree with me? Yeah, I mean, yeah. 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 If you don't commit sin, he will destroy you. So what I would do now? I will commit more sin. Or what I will do too? Commit sin and ask for forgiveness. But isn't that our point of worshiping God? No, you know, you worship God regardless of anything. It's not because of the benefit. Because He's God, you believe in Him. So like, when are, we, are we like a bunch of dogs? If he give us bones, we say to him, hello. If he don't, we bark at him, <laughs> you know. So we are human. We believe in God. As the Bible, you, the verses you've chosen for me, we do good. And he don't want us to do good to him. You do good to others. And by doing that, you glorify the Lord. So what the Messiah is asking us to do, to do good to each other, not to him. He did not need our good. What Muhammad is saying, commit sin, when you commit sin, you commit, what do you mean? You commit sin against each other, correct? Yeah. Okay, and then you will live. If you don't, Allah will destroy you. Oh, Lord. Actually, if you study uh, physiology, whatever they call it, you will know that this person is suffering from mental illness. If this God is true, is true, this God enjoy uh, people begging him. <laughs> you know, he get upset if nobody is begging him. Like oh, yeah, nobody is begging me. We did not commit sin. So what I will do? Oh no, I have 
I have to punish them. I have to do something to them. I have to, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, to get rid of them. I have to replace them with people who commit sin. They are not good. Why? Because they are not doing bad. I want people who do bad. If uh, I can ask you something right now, go ahead. Um, if if uh, Jesus uh, saw me, what do you think he would say? Well, the Bible says, "Come to me, the tired one, and I will make you rest." And my friend, you are tired, and you need to rest in the front of the door of Jesus. He will welcome you, he will help you, and he will give you comfort. I can tell you I have a very good, good heart in your heart. You are not a bad person. Even though you try to duct tape Islam all you, you can. But I understand you are trying to resist. To resist, you know, you are resisting to think about like, okay, I was wrong all this time, believing in false God this time, this, this is what you are resisting. But the second you reach the point where Allah cannot save you and obviously he is an evil, then your heart changed. So you come to the Messiah and he will give you comfort. Accept the Messiah as your Lord as Savior now, for your soul might be taken from you today not tomorrow and you will leave the opportunity of forgiveness he will forgive you he will love you he will support you and he will guide you to help your family too um, I'm bewildered and spe speechless I'm sorry it's okay. If I am you, I will be the same. But I invite you now, in front of all those people, to accept the Messiah as your Lord and Savior. Do you accept my brother? Um, I, um, I, I, you do? I think, I, I think so. I mean, I mean. me I'm happy for you and I'm glad I did not block you totally because actually I did block you and I was going to just let's say get rid of you because I lost my patient so I'm I, glad I can swear to you that in those times I really wasn't trying to be this honest I tried to be honest 100% you, had, you were trying to resist but it's okay as we said, the, 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 what is important is the result, is not the process. I want to uh, I want to share with you some verses and I will play the sound if it's okay from the Bible. Of course. Things which ye do hear and see. The blind receive their sight, 
and the lame walk. The lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. And blessed is he, whosoever shall not be offended in me. And as they departed, Jesus began to say unto the multitudes concerning John, What went ye out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken with the wind? But what went ye out for to see? A man clothed in soft raiment? Behold, they that wear soft clothing are in kings' houses. But what went ye out for to see? A prophet? Yea, I say unto you, and more than a prophet. For this is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. Verily I say unto you, Among them that are born of woman, there hath not risen a greater than John the Baptist. Notwithstanding, he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force. For all the prophets in the law prophesied until John. And if ye will receive it, this is Elias, which was for to come. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. But whereunto shall I liken this generation? It is like unto children sitting in the markets and calling unto their fellows, and saying, We have piped unto you, and ye have not danced. We have mourned unto you, and ye have not lamented. But John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say, He hath a devil. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, Behold, a man gluttonous and a wine bibber, a friend of publicans and sinners. But wisdom is justified of her children. Then began he to upbraid the cities wherein most of his mighty works were done, because they repented not. Woe unto thee, Chorazin! Woe unto thee, Bethsaida! For if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago, and sacked forth in ashes. But I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the day of judgment than for you. And thou, Capernaum, which art exalted unto heaven, shall be brought down to hell. But if the mighty works which have been done in thee had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I say unto you, that it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for thee. At that time Jesus answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son but the Father. Neither knoweth any man the Father, save the Son, and he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. I mean, that was for you, my friend. Especially Thank the you. last, the last two, three verses. So give him your yoke. For my yoke is easy. Give him your burden. And he will help you. Can I ask you a question, uh, Prince? Go ahead. I mean, I see now, but when I was a Muslim, I felt as if um, God was with me. Well, what has... Uh, you know, Jesus been doing to me all the time. Why did he let me believe that? Well, look what Jesus did to you today. <laughs> I mean, so everything have a time. It's Your heart wasn't ready. It's not about Jesus. I can go right now and kill. 
I'm going to play him Jesus. I can go rape. I can be a child molester. I can be a drug dealer. You know? He just said to you, come to me. Did you go to him? No, you go to Allah. Right? Come into me, verse number 28. All ye that labor and are heavy. So did you come to Jesus? No. You are looking in the wrong direction. You are praying to Allah, not to Jesus. So why he will help you? If you are not asking him, rather you take refuge with, the, with, with shaitan, the enemy of Jesus. Islam is the enemy of Jesus. The Islam denied the Father, the Son. Islam denied the crucifixion of Jesus. Muhammad, he says, Jesus, nobody. I am the eraser. They said to him, you will erase who? What? He said, I will erase Judaism and Christianity. How you can erase God work and God people? Why you want to do that? He didn't say, I will erase Hinduism. Zeradisht. He said specifically, Judaism and Christianity. This person is Satan. So all this time, the Messiah was there. But today, I don't know who invited you here. I think that person who invited you, it was a Lebanese Christian. This person, the Lord made him invite you. He guided him to invite you. If not him, actually, you will not be here. And I will not be talking to you. So I say thank you, Lebanese Christian, for doing this. You saved by your work. Yes, the Lord is the one who is our Savior, true. But the Lord, He used us. The same as He's going to use this, this brother here. But you have to let the Lord use you. If you close your heart, you pray to the wrong God, you follow the wrong religion, then why in the world you are complain where have been Jesus? I did not come to him. Anytime you need him from now on, you go right away. You see, in Christianity, you do not need a middleman. You do not need to wake up 5 a.m. in the morning or a certain time in noon. You can pray to him anytime you wish for the Lord or hearing, and he can hear you. He did not require rituals. And we don't have a pagan God. Always he can hear you. You don't need to be standing in front of his statues or kissing a stone or going around the room. Wherever you are in this earth, flying or landing, the Lord, he can hear you. When I could add something... When uh, I first uh, researched on Christianity, I've always been intrigued because you know how Muslims, they're like the Trinity, three, uh, one plus one plus uh, one, it doesn't equal three, uh, it doesn't equal one. They are going to criticize the Trinity. But I've always found it uh, kind of, uh, beautiful. I've, my, um, I, my friend, just, first of all, their, their mathematics method is very funny. Who said first that the Christian believed one plus one plus one, this plus coming from? <laughs> how, how come they don't say one X one as an example? I mean, this is funny. Same time, as long as this is the scenario, they say, okay, the Quran is not created. The Quran in Islam not created. It's not. Allah is not created. So now we have two divine. They are eternal. Are they one? Allah used three names Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim, Allah. Yet He is one. The Messiah in the Quran, He is the Word of God. He is a spirit from God and He is the flesh, He is a man. Three and one. The Quran, if you type the word three, you will see everything in Islam is based on number three. Mary, she fast three days. Zechariah, he cannot talk to her three days. Same for Mary. If a Muslim man divorces his wife three times, she cannot come back to him unless she sleep with a new man. 
Muhammad he called Allahu Akbar three times. Muhammad do ablution, he have to wash his hand, his nose, his toes, his whatever, three times. Everything in Islam is three times. So how that is a one prayer and how that is a praying to one God by doing the ritual three times. Everything in Islam is upside down, you know. Islam itself is based on three. Allah, Jibreel, Muhammad. If one of them is missing, there is no Islam. If we ask the Muslims, why Jesus have no father? What they will say? They will say to you, Adam have no father. That's stupid to say. Adam is not born. The Quran says, وَجَعَلْنَاهُ نَسَبًا وَصِهْرًا Every human being, which means after Adam, is coming from sexual relationship. Look like Allah, he forgot that Jesus is not. And then you read the interpretation you will find in the top of that that a Muslim man he can have sex with his own daughter if she is a daughter from adultery. But the important for us here as long you need two to make one. Isn't it this is what number three is about in Islam now? Yeah. A woman and a man what they will do? One plus one equal to what to one <laughs> so we have a wife we have a we have a, a woman we have a man they sleep together and now they make a new baby so even the baby will not be part of a family if there's not if there's no the three the parents the mother the father and then the baby will come to existence here you see how important the number three in our life everything is based on number three that's true I've uh, I've never um, uh, I've, for me when I uh, saw Christianity I, I I tried my best not to um, see it uh, the way um, like most Muslims do it's like corrupted I wanted to just learn um, and I could clearly see in the Bible that um, Jesus um, showed himself many times as uh, God but not uh, not like Muslims say is this like a, show me they will tell you show me where uh, Jesus says he's God and uh, that's not true it's I've always it's, it's one of the things that led me uh, to Christianity is just um, the way uh, Muslims act towards it well let us pray my friend that what led you to Christ is a Christ himself, not Muslims, because you will be tested, and Christianity is not the same as the garbage of Islam. With the Christ, you have to be serious. He will not care for you doing rituals. He don't care about how many times you go down in your knee. He care, Jesus said, is not what go inside your mouth, but what come out of your mouth. So in Christianity, we cannot fool God, we cannot play with God, we cannot bribe God. The Muslim believe if they make a donation, they go to heaven. We as a Christian, we don't believe in such a thing. You don't, like now, people, they donate to me, they, I, 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 what does this have to do with going to heaven? Can you bribe God? No. They do it because they, they, do it because they believe in you to spread the message. Yeah, but That's still, right. actually most of them, they don't, trust me. If you go to, you know, you will see the most of them, they don't. <laughs> but anyway, uh, uh, but people in Christianity, if we do good, it's not because we want to go to heaven. You see, the, the, the verses I just showed you is doing good to others. You are glorifying God, for God is good. So to be following the good God, well, you have to be good. You don't have other choice to be a bad quality. You can't be in the house of good God and you are a bad person. It's like you want to enter my house and you are full of fleas and lies. You are not welcome. You have to be good. So the good of us is about being Christian. It's not about going to heaven. It's not because I'm going to go to heaven, I'm going to do good, no. But it is, it is a must because how you are a Christian but yet you don't do good. That's why the Bible says, Faith without work 
is a dead faith. So I have faith, I believe in Jesus, but I my work is the opposite. Well, then you are not a Christian. So when you are a Christian, the work is not the work is saving you to go to heaven, but the work is the way to be as a Christian. Which means the second you are a Christian and you are truly following the Messiah, you are doing good. It cannot be the other's choice. You can't be Christian or drug dealer. If you if you do so, obviously you are a Christian. So this is not about going to heaven. It's about you being a Christian. And now because you are being a Christian, you go to heaven. So being good, doing good, loving others is about being Christian. And being a Christian is what makes you go to heaven. So God is not taking me to heaven because I'm doing good. Oh, he's counting now how many good I did. No, God is taking me to heaven because I am now qualified. I am a Christian. And how I became a Christian? Because I followed the good God. And how I follow him? As the verses I posted for you. Yeah. You glorify Thanks. God by your good work. God do not need your work. And this is not what you are safe. However, if you don't do the good work, obviously you are a false Christian. So it's like saying, you are gold not because you are shiny, but you are because you are gold. You know what I mean? Because gold can be covered by dirt. Gold can be covered by dirt and nobody see any shine of it. Still, it is gold. Right. I have a, I have an emergency. I have to go. But thank oh. you for this conversation. All right, brother. See you. Okay, take care. God bless you. I wish I could talk more, but it's an emergency. You Goodbye. can come back anytime. Okay. We, we. I hope everything is fine for you. Thank you. Hi, you too. Okay. Have a good day. Okay. To you, um, Lebanese Christian, and everyone. God bless you. Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah. It looked like he is feeling. Yeah, it's not easy. He just left his uh, his false god, you know. We pray for this young man. We pray to his mother. Pray for him. And let us hope that his mother soon she will leave Islam too. And both of them and the whole family will be saved. All right. take a lot of patience but sometimes patient bring something good but not necessarily all the time but still it is necessarily to be patient however you have to sense the heart of the person you speak to if he is worth your patient and if he is serious some they come for a mockery some they come to insult some they come for all like for their hatred and some they are coming to listen and to see the truth and the truth will set them free anyway i hope we have a good time today i'm not going to stay with you for long for tonight uh, I will try to be maybe in the morning tomorrow too, if I could. And until we see you tomorrow, we pray to the Lord to bring us more. Uh, more people need help so we can help them and they can be saved. And again, thank you for all the Christians who support us here by inviting people. Uh, For all of us, we will receive the blessing for saving this man from hellfire and his family, maybe, in the future. 
We feel sorry actually for all Muslims to believe in such a mad religion. But what you can do? We are limited. Look, we have 158 people in this court. Another few hundred in battle in in uh, in Rambur. But if you are people who worship the devil, we will have tens of thousands. They will have the platform. They will be sponsored and supported. So I will be, I hope, <coughs> tomorrow in the morning, if not afternoon. And until I see you again, may the Lord bless you. And thank you for joining us. And this is your brother, Christian Prince, who has served you humbly for today. Take care. Bye-bye.